making this, I'm making a countdown, a Christmas countdown. This is a project that you can do with the kids. So easy, so fun. I'm just using this air dry clay. I'm just grabbing out a, a good amount. Uh, you don't wanna do these, it, you just wanna make sure that it doesn't dry out while you're working on it. So I just have been working in batches. So <clears throat> I just kind of roll this out. Not kind of, I do. I've got a few of them over there drying. So I'm just gonna make the first of the countdowns here. Maybe I'll get two out of this. Now when you roll it, you can see here, you don't wanna make it too thin because uh, these are very delicate. So when you get them all done, they are very delicate. So, but you don't, I mean, you can make them thicker. The thicker they are, the longer it's gonna take for them to dry. And I'm just using this little vintage star cutout. Obviously you can do this in any, any shape you want, just a circle, use a cup if that's all you have, like the mouth of a cup. Um, just use that. So I'm just gonna pull away the excess. And I love projects like this, like this clay, you're not gonna, you're gonna use every little bit of it, right? So any of this that you're not using, you can put right back in the bucket. So let me just lay those down. They would look really cute though, if the corners were kind of curled up like that, but I'm not doing that. So then I'm just using, just this little paintbrush, the end of it. And I am just putting holes, you know, at the top, wherever I want the top to be so that I can hang these stars when they are all dry. And then we're gonna do one. And then I'm just using these number stamps. Okay, where's number two? But there it is, okay. And all I'm doing is I'm just pressing the numbers right in the center. Number one, oops. Number two, like that. And number three, just like that. And then I'm letting them dry overnight. Uh, I just let them fully dry overnight. I have been picking them up, you just wanna be very careful. I've been picking them up and setting them over to the side so I can get some other projects done. But then I just set them over to the side, let them dry overnight, and then we're gonna move on to the next step. The next thing I'm going to do is, I'm going to, you can see over here, I've started on these. I want the numbers to kind of stand out a little more. And I love, you could do this in any color, any color you like. I do love the colors white, black, and green around Christmas time. Again, I'm just kind of going with that Scandinavian kind of simple, simple look. And so I thought that these Sharpie markers would work, but they don't work very well at all. So I, I just have a black ink pen and I am just going inside the numbers and just kind of filling them in with this black ink pen. Again, I'm just trying to highlight the numbers so you can see them. So they just can kind of stand out a little more. You could definitely skip this step if you just like the white numbers, just kind of the color of the clay and just the indentation. Uh, but like I said, I just kind of wanted to make them stand out a little bit more. And I am not, you know, I'm not being super precise with this. I'm not, you know. From, from a distance, you will be able to see the numbers, but they're not being perfectly colored in, if that makes sense. I'm just kind of outlining them with the black pen and then, then just kind of filling in that area as well. And you'll find that your stamp, that uh, in some areas it went further down into the clay than the others. 
totally fine. Again, I want this to look homemade. I don't want this to look perfect. Like it came, you know, it came out of a machine or something. I just, I want it to look imperfect, simple. Um, you could do the 25 in like a different color, you know, so it stands out better. It's just the end of it. Um, but yeah, I was surprised that the Sharpie didn't work. And this, these Sharpies that I was using, just because these numbers are super, super, you know, they're small, it's not a big area. So I was using a real small fine tip Sharpie and that could be the reason. Uh, you could, if you have a stable hand and can paint all the things, you could definitely, you know, paint these as well. It doesn't even have to be a pen or a marker. Maybe you have paint markers too that that would work. So yeah, I'm gonna finish the rest of these and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, a couple of things I wanted to share with you. So this is what happens when you are, these are very delicate, so you definitely be careful because this broke, I had to make another one. Obviously super simple to make another one. It's just the dry time, waiting for it to get um, to harden is what takes so long. So now I'll have to wait till tomorrow to finish this last one. Uh, but if you're pushing on them too hard, uh, they will break. So definitely be careful. So now because I cannot leave well enough alone, I'm just going to add a little bit of something else to mine. Again, this is something that you can, you, you do not have to do this, but I'm just gonna show you um, what I'm doing. So I'm just taking a roll of green twine and I'm taking it, I'm gonna say, whoops. One, two, three, four, five, six, about six inches. And I'm just gonna cut it off here. And then what I'm doing is, again, uh, I'm taking this really large needle. Just because this twine is a little thicker, it is thicker than just like a string. And it just is going to help me get through these wood beads. So I'm just going to string that, put that on the needle, maybe. Oh my goodness. Okay, so it's through the needle. So I'm just, I'm not doing anything special. I just wanna use it to put it through, uh, like I said, to get the little wood beads on. I am gonna tie a knot on the end. I wanna move that knot down as much as possible. And then again, you can use any kind of beads you have. I have a whole, you can't see it here. I have a huge, glass jar of wood beads. I pick them up at the thrift store whenever I can find them uh, just because I use them on a lot of different projects. So for this one, I use three. Maybe you only want to use two. You could just use one as well. I'm just using different sizes. So I'll just do three on this one. So I'm just putting it down like this. And then I'm just coming through the hole inside. Again, be very, very careful. Six inches might be too much, but I I tried to, I'm trying to save as much twine as I can, but anything much smaller than this, it just gets harder to tie this knot. And again, like I said, you just don't want to be, you, you got to be delicate with these little stars because, or whatever shape you did, because you just don't want them to break. And so then I'm just cutting that off and then that can sit like that. So. It just adds a little bit more decoration to them. Again, this is something you can totally skip. You don't have to do this part at all. Okay, this may look like a mess, <laughs> but there is a method to my madness. I just kind of wanted to walk you through this. So I am at a stopping point right now because I broke number seven, but I just wanted to, I have to wait for it to dry now. I had to make a new one, which just goes to show these are super easy to make, but yet they are delicate. So. If, if you make them a little bit thicker, they'll be stronger, uh, but just, just know that they will, uh, it'll take a little bit longer for them to dry, but but still, even if they're super thick, you know, they can still, you know, it's clay, they, they can break. So what I did was I stained the 
wood dowels that I showed you uh, that I was going to do and then drilled holes here and here. And then I used red twine just to put up as my, whoops, let me hold, as my holder here. So there's that. Then all I did, you will see something different too. <laughs> I took off all the beads because I just wanted to make it more simple. It was just too much with the beads and the um, green twine and then the uh, red and white baker's twine. So I could have cut that all out of this video, but it, I just wanted to share that not all projects or, or what you think is gonna look good or what you think you're, you're gonna want in the project is, is gonna be what it is in the end. That's why I love DIYing. It's gonna change, it's gonna evolve as you do the project and, and that's okay. All I did was I was out a little bit of twine that I found at the thrift store anyway. All those wood beads, I put them back in the jar and I can use them for something else. So it was just too much and I just wanted to keep this more simple. So all I did was I just tied the red baker's twine around the stars in the hole and then I just tied them on the, uh, the dowel here. And like I said, I still have to do number seven here. If I had another dowel, I would have I would have used that just because you have so many numbers. But um, I only had three. I'm trying to use what I have on hand, and so I'm gonna make it work. Uh, and so I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna clip all of these, this little excess. And I did them at different heights. I didn't want this to look perfect or you know perfectly uniform. I wanted it to look homemade. I wanted it to look simple. So what I'm going to do is I ran out of my red and white twine. I have enough for the seven and where's the 25? So, and I have a longer piece here for the 25. So let me kind of show you. I did seven and seven, seven through and then 14. So seven on that one. And then um, I did a few more here and I'm going to have 24. You're not going to be able to see this. I'm just trying to be super gentle, <laughs> gentle. Um, 24 here, well, and then 25 are just gonna hang a lot lower on this bottom one. So let me just kind of move these down a little bit. Oh. So now, um, since I ran out of the red and white twine, I still need to hook these all together. So they, they're, there are holes drilled in all of these. And so I think I'm just gonna use like the natural colored jute twine for that, just to kind of hold them all together. So that's where I am. The next photo um, or video will be this hung on the wall, everything put together. As always, all of the, uh, the supplies that I used in this project will be linked in the description of this video. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, put them in the comments. I would love to see if you make any of the projects that I share here on my channel. You can post them on Instagram and tag me at my creative days. I can see them there, but I would just, I love to see it when you're making the projects that you see um, here on YouTube or in any of other um, of my channels. But so that is it for this one. If you thought this was helpful or if you like these easy DIYs, please share these videos. It just helps me so much and I truly appreciate it so much when you do. Uh, and yeah, if you have any questions, like I said, let me know. But uh, the next little slide here will show you this all done and hung up on the wall.